file and import an image into it. So here's how I'm going to do that. Um, file new. I want to make this one a little bit bigger than I normally do. Um, so when I come over here, um, I'm going to make it, instead of just randomly clicking and grabbing a letter size, which is 11 by 8 and a half, I'm going to make this have a width of 12 and a height of 8, which basically means that I'm, I'm going to have something that's going to be this orientation. You know, if you want it to be vertical, you can always change that. So you have to decide whether or not you, your width is 8 and your height is 12 or vice versa. For me, I'm going to change it to that. We can always, by the way, change this later. So I'm going to say OK. And um, there's my document. And I've already pre-selected an image that I think I want to use. Um, grabbing this off the internet, um, this lovely cat. Um, so I'm going to hold down the control key, click on this, copy the image, come back to Illustrator, edit paste in front, and it should show up. There it is on my layers. Now, obviously, it's too big. This is my artboard, so that's what I'm actually going to see. And I'm glad I chose, by the way, this orientation because it's it's very long. Um, but it, clearly, the cat's too big. So, to make it smaller, here's the trick: when you shrink it down, don't just shrink it down because you can get it kind of out of proportion. Instead, what you're going to do is hold down while you shrink it, so it always stays in proportion for you. And you want to make sure this fits not just inside the space but with a little bit of wiggle room so so like it's kind of tight there in my opinion I'm gonna shrink this down again I like that a lot better and I can always you know decide if I want to change the size later that's not a big deal so I'm gonna um, go ahead and lock this layer and I'm using it just as a reference layer actually before I lock it one last thing I'm gonna do I want to use this as a reference I'm gonna be working on top of it so I am going to make sure that this is selected this image I'm going to go to opacity and I'm going to reduce the opacity to like 30 40 percent just so I can see it but it's not like super 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 light and now I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer and I'm going to save this image now unfortunately I'm working from home so I can't save it immediately to the work group server at school but that's of course where you would save it so you should have a folder called line already and you're going to save this in your line folder. For me, unfortunately, because I don't have a line folder, um, I'm saving this in initially to my desktop, and then I'm going to put it in my line folder. But for you, you would definitely save this. You would go over here and, you know, go to Go, um, like under Share, WWG, line folder in the right place. So don't just save it on your desktop because I can't create it then. So I'm going to hit Save. And that's how you get started with this. Okay.